cult of. I'm a cult of. Cult of personality. Oh. Hello, folks. Welcome again. I'm the one, the only. I am the Hobo Tom. We're here to talk about some pro wrestling, not cults of. Well, definitely not cults. More cults of personality. Uh, a couple of news and notes. Well, I'll get to that. Uh, I can get to it now. Uh, this week's going to be kind of a normal week until the 14th. Yeah, you can see this guy. He won the only Hobo Tom. Uh, here in Daytona Beach, I'll be, atten I'll be in attendance for the NXT live show coming in. Finally, I think the last show they had, I think it was like, Either early November or late October. Because, yeah, because then they had the holiday tour. That was December 8th. See, it's always nice to have the door of wrestling. Because that way I can be somewhat knowledgeable about stuff I've done. You're going to see this guy, Hobo Tom. I'll be there uh, documenting stuff and I'll be making you guys. A video again, so it's going to feature my reactions, some live wrestling, or at least taped wrestling, and entrances. Because entrances are actually sometimes better than the matches. But that's neither here nor there. I'm here. This is going to be a double show to duo because one thing we're going to do, definitely going to talk about some SmackDown. I think I finally figured out all the very few matches for Elimination Chamber. That's going to be a weird pay-per-view. I don't quite understand why they're doing that, but not for me to care. I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. Uh, kind of does a recap of the Cena and Fiend stuff. Yeah, it was okay. Then if you just watched it, that's fine. Um, then we had a moment of bliss. And this time, N NWO for live. <laughs> yep, they sell one of the best games. Yeah, something like that. It's like a Jimi Hendrix random music mashup thing. That was always fun to see. So Hall, Nash, and uh, Six Pack, X Pack, Sean Waltham came out. He doesn't even know what to be called anymore. Um, so they came out, and uh, Nikki gets the selfie. N Nikki went all for him. Nikki, awesome. That's why I like Nikki Cross so much. Like, when it comes down to it, she's a wrestler who's a wrestling fan. That's awesome. He's living the dream, folks. And she's married to her. I don't know how that goes, so that's always hit or miss sometimes. But let's see here. Uh, a couple things. Whoa. National Hall got old. X-Pac just looks grizzled, or Sean Waltman just looks grizzled. But Nash and Hall, wow. Jeez, that's, that's bad for me in the future. My cat's right there taking her nap. Because I know I do apologize for getting this video up so late. I know I had to work late Friday. Saw the re saw the rebroadcast of it. And when I got home, and then I said, I, I have to go to sleep. Because I have to wake up early today. And then I went to the gym. Did some stuff about ready to enter into my Lenten Redemption movie extravaganza watching Star Wars. Because the Redemption story still is one of the best types of entertainment. Especially in pro wrestling. I don't know why they don't do Redemption stories that much anymore. They used to. Oh well. Maybe I should really put in for WWE Creative. Say, listen, we just need some someone to go through a redemption story. Oh, a Roman's Reigns redemption story. 
I could draw that up for like two years. Make two hundred thousand dollars, and I'd be set for a while. <laughs> Work from home with all this coronavirus stuff right now. I think Apple over in California. Actually, they told their employees to actually work at home. I don't know. We'll see what happens. My store is kind of smidgedly going to freak out about the coronavirus. I mean, the thing is, just like the flu, it always gets the, the young, the old, those with bad immune systems. I'm not old yet. I'm not necessarily young, but I still have a good immune Good immune system. Probably as a kid, I was playing in trees, swimming in lakes, doing like kid stuff. Instead of being in like an air conditioned house all day, my, my parents would kick me out. They said, go, go out and, and, and I, I don't know, just, just get out of the house. Probably worked out for the better. Uh, also, oh, I get the two of them confused now. Nash. Talked about mentioning being Goldberg. Sami Zayn, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro came out. They interrupted uh, Sami. Uh, eventually, the NWS says, no, we're not dealing with this nonsense. Uh, Sami takes Alexa Bliss hostage. Oh, what a cowardly Sami Zayn. Boo, boo, Sami Zayn. Only one other person gets booed more, and, and we'll hear about that later. Uh, let's see here. Such as, but I mean, so that so that was it. Sami Zayn, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro gets speed up. Then Braun Strowman comes out, and he, of course, too sweet. The NW for life. Gang signs here. Uh, so the first match we had. Was Naomi and Lacey Evans taking on Sasha Banks and Bailey? And, and while someone in like the design team said we're gonna make those tights go lower on the they're going down. And Lacey Evans! Did Lacey Evans steal one of Alicia Fox's hats? I don't know. I wonder where is Alicia Fox? I know she was on suspension, but that should be over by now. I wonder if she's coming to NXT. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Get a sell. I don't know. I don't know what would be better: getting a selfie with Candice LeRae or a selfie with Alicia Fox. Because she only does live like an hour away from me. Oh, wait a second. She only does live an hour away from me. Hey, Alicia Fox. I'm single too. I haven't been mad in a while. So with this match, uh, for the most part, Lacey Evans starts off the match. Sasha Banks and Bailey, they don't like Lacey Evans. They isolate her. Again, very typical double team. Uh, Sasha, actually, she was doing pretty good. Um, did a step over toe hold. A real Matt wrestling move from Sasha, Bo from Sasha Botch. Yeah, I haven't been. A, I don't think I've ever been a Sasha Banks fan. Bailey, yeah. Naomi, yeah. Lacey Evans, no, not really. But not as I'm not as big a mark as I am for someone else, and we'll find out later in the show. I Naomi, hot tag. She has a corkscrew plancha. Oh, Naomi, fly, Naomi, fly. And then she hit the turnbuckle bulldog. That looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, Naomi did get pinned though. She ate the pin. I forget. Oh yeah, ouch! Yeah, Naomi like kneeled her head on the post. Lacey Evans eats the pin. I'll tell you what, I was kind of impressed with this. This was a, this. I'll tell you what. For Lacey Evans and Sasha Banks, this was actually a good match. Maybe having these two in a tag team works. Indeed. So this was a cheeseburger match.
Then there was a little interview with Sasha and Bailey in the back. They're like, okay, we're done. We'll, we'll, we'll challenge eventually for the women's tag team spots, but we're done with these losers. Let's get out of here. The next match was Sheamus and Apollo Crews. Uh, Sheamus gets introduced. And then uh, Shore G says, hey, Apollo, I have your back. And Apollo Crews is like, dude, I don't care. Like, he had Apollo Crews is beginning to get the checked out look. Uh, for the most part, Sheamus goes right after Paul Cruz. Paul Cruz, when he makes his comeback again, does his, all his stuff, the standing moonsault, which still looks amazing, by the way. Uh, Cruz tried in this match. It's just that, that bro kick is now like the most powerful finisher, and they've been showing these matches for a while. Uh, I think the fact that I saw it checked out Apollo Cruz and I said, oh, yeah, whatever. And Seamus, Seamus is good. He needs a little more umph, I guess. Oh, wait a second. What did they do? Something stupid? Oh, no. That's Tuesday. Okay. I was going to say, if they did something stupid for St. Patrick's Day with Seamus, that would be really, really bad. That's okay. Uh, this match, I don't know. It was really quick. This was a can of soup. And then Drew Gulak's in the back with Drake Maverick. <laughs> Took me a while to remember his name because I'm like, the hell, what the heck's his name? I remember him as Rockstar Spud, but I forget what his name Oh, that's right, Drew, Drew Maverick. Or Drake Maverick. So, so that was that was okay. Um, Gulak says, I, have, I know this 175 PowerPoint presentation on Daniel Bryden's I guess... Next week here on SmackDown, they're going to have a match. And maybe Drew Gulak will expose that. I'm trying to think. I don't think Drew Gulak was ever in Ring of Honor. I might be wrong. I know he was in Chikara as, um, as Soldier and as part of the colony. I don't think Daniel Bryan was ever in Chikara. I don't know if the two of them ever faced off the pro wrestling gorilla. Again, if you in the YouTube land knows, feel free to shoot me an email or comment saying, you stupid hobo, you should know all this stuff. I know a lot of stuff. I don't know everything. Uh, so then this leads to our next match of Carmella and Dana Brooke. Yes, taking on fire and desire. Boo, Sonya Deville! Boo! 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 Boo, Sonya Deville! And they come out with Dolph Ziggler! Oh, no! We'll see what happens later. But boo, Sonya Deville! Always boo, Sonya Deville! This match immediately goes down. No matter what I say. Carmella! Whoa! Carmella's wearing, like, glorified panties. I forget what they were called. It's literally just, like, a waistband and, like, covering the front and the back. The sparkly glitter. Mandy Rose's stuff. How she keeps her trunks, her, her bottoms on. That's, that's, that's something inquiring minds want to know. I'd like to know. But with this match, uh, Carmella gets in the ring. She uh, muscles Rose into the corner, but then she does a moonwalk. Uh, oh, smooth, so smooth as Carmella. Carmella's, Carmella's done so much since she's been to the main roster and left those two deadbeats, Cass. And Enzo Amore. Maybe it's Corey Graves. Indeed. Uh, so Sonya, uh, she definitely knows how to classically wrestle. But boo, Sonya Deville, boo. I'll never cheer for her. 
Uh, Dolph was his ring sign. Uh, so, again, that was a distraction and a blind tag. Mandy Rose hit the running knee on for Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke had a, actually had a pretty good showing. Dana Brooke looks amazing in the ring. Ever since she got legit punched in the face by Sarah Logan and after her whole thing with Ronda Rousey, Dana Brooke's very quietly becoming one of my favorite female wrestlers. Indeed. Uh, this match actually was pretty fun, though. I'm torn because it's a boo Sonya Deville match. But it was pretty good. Yeah. It was a ham sandwich. Then we have a Firefly Funhouse. Oh, <laughs> Ramblin' Rabbit. How often is Ramblin' Rabbit going to die, Chispa? Because Ramblin' Rabbit keeps on cheering against whoever's going against Bray Wyatt, even though Bray Wyatt's supposed to be his friend. What kind of, what kind of friend are you, Ramblin' Rabbit? Boo, Ramblin' Rabbit. So Ramblin' Rabbit and and there's so many pictures of John Cena. This is good because this actually got into the history of Bray Wyatt and John Cena. So that's going to be it. Of course, let me in. Uh, then there was the Goldberg recap. Uh, he captured the Universal title. And Kayla! Back there interviewing Bar Baron Corbin, king of WWE. Uh, Elias interrupts. Yeah, whatever. And then there was... Oh, this, this, this has got me right here, folks. Uh, Otis wanted to confront Mandy. Say, M Mandy, I tried to be there, but I saw you with Dolph. And like Mandy's like... That's, we're friends. Oh. Otis is a friend now. Which is never good. I felt for Otis. That that made me sad. And this led to the tag team gauntlet match. And this is actually kind of fun. And this actually took up for the most part everything to the end of the show. Oh yeah, it did. Indeed. Uh, so it starts off the new day. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Taking on Heavy Machinery. I'll hold that next week. Um, this was really fun. Uh, again, Tucky can run the ropes. Tucky spent most of the time in this ring. Uh, Big E tags in. Kofi tags out. And then Otis. Oh, about the big men. They try to shoulder attack each other. Uh-uh. It cancels each other out. They try to do clotheslines. Uh-uh. Cancels each other's out. Oh, this is awesome. So this is this is really fun. Uh, then, of course, they hit the uh, double suplex. Otis, I think, suplex Biggie, Tucky. Hey! Uh, suplex Kofi Kingston. That was awesome. Uh, Kofi Kingston, he did get caught the ones. It was the caterpillar to Big E. The New Day lose? Heavy machinery rocks. Heavy machinery rocks. Heavy machinery rocks. No, that's the Macarena. Yeah, we had like 80s night at work. Like it was like 80s music, 80s style of shoes, all, all the bad stuff of the 80s. <laughs> it made me nostalgic. The 80s and late 80s, early 90s. They found that radio station that was so funny. Uh, so many flashbacks. Early 90s. Yep. MTV. Yep. I just miss guys in turtle outfits. That would like, be complete. Uh, so now we have, again, Heavy Machinery continues. So now it's the Lucha! 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 House Party. And this was fun. This was actually fascinating. They actually gave Lucha House Party a lot of time. 
I was shocked because this was longer than I thought it would be. Again, heavy machinery is slower. They, they do a lot more grinding work. Makes more sense, though. They want to ground the Lucha House Party. They do not want to see Fly Lucha House Party Fly. That would be very bad. Uh, Otis, again, he eventually hulks up after some some big old test chops from Lince Dorado. Dorado! Grand Metal And those two are so awesome. I, I don't know why they, they don't do more with them. Because they're just fun to watch. Uh, of course, Otis then uses the bear hug. And I, I tell you what, I thought for a while Lucha House Party was going to Yeah. Yeah, that was a caterpillar. No, that was a compactor on Biggie. I'm sorry. I make a correction. Oh, also that match, because again, the way I do this, that I rank each match, the um New Day versus Heavy Machinery. That was a surf and turf match. And this Otis put the bear hug on. Again, that was really cool to see. Um, in Lucha House Party, they just start flying down. That was fun. I mean, they have to do more. I mean, they actually made the match really competitive. However, the one fell to the Caterpillar by Otis. And that makes sense. Otis is a big guy. I wouldn't want a big guy like him doing, doing the belly wiggle and dropping it. Dropping a big elbow on my chest. This was also a surf and turf match. Next, they take on the Usos. And the Usos are the WWE version of Gorillas of Destiny. So Usos come out. I think their entrance takes longer than the match. Uh, Jimmy Uso. Trash talking is the best. Uh, he just did like an arm bar. The Usos made the blind tag. Then for some somehow, I think the Usos got DQ'd. I don't quite exactly. I could have blinked or I could have like. I think I was drinking tea, so I probably had to refill my cup. And I'm like, wait a second. How did the Usos lose? Just because I don't know. Ugh. This this was a soup. And then we had The Miz and Morrison taking on Heavy Machinery. Heavy Machinery went pretty far. This is pretty cool. I don't care what people say. The slow-mo camera work for John Morrison's fireworks. That's awesome. And The Miz is just good. So with this, it was pretty fun. Tucky, for the most part, gets involved. Uh, Otis is, like, gassed. He needs to, like... Recharging himself on Morrison. Oh, that one knee strike. He learned that in Lucha Underground. I don't care what people said. That he was amazing in Lucha Underground. Too bad there's too bad there is no more Lucha Underground. That was that's a bad feeling because they were really fun. Like, who, who knows? In a couple of years they might come back, retool everything, realize that yeah we shouldn't really give people nine year contracts because they might not like. Uh, again, Morrison. Again, very technically based. Uh, he actually tried to even technical collegiate style wrestler Tucky. Tucky must have had fun with that. Uh, Morrison again. He can. It seems he can change direction mid air. I think he was going to go for a splash. Realized that uh, Tucker Knight was too close. He changed like into an elbow. It looked literally out of midair. John Morrison. So awesome. John Morrison. I can't wait till Ty Valk. That's that's coming soon. I think. Right after maybe Triple Mania. Uh, yeah. That would make sense. Because if she dropped the ray, the ray is felt. She could do that to anyone too. That doesn't they have so many luchadores. Who was it? Um, not Nyla Rose. Fabi Apache. She could drop it to Fabi Apache. 
Uh, again, Morrison tried to collegiate wrestle with Tucky Knight. Tucky Knight went back to college for a while. And three else, oh, I, I, I'm a collegiate wrestler. Yep. Uh, then the Miz comes in, hits a knee plus, the elbow money Morrison. And we saw a legit side cradle by Tucker Knight. Reminded me of my high school wrestling days. This was fun. Uh, this was a cheeseburger match. All throughout this, um, Miz and Morrison get upset. They beat up poor Otis. Otis is left like half dead on the outside. And this allows them, allows Rude and Ziggler to get the pickings. Because Rude and Ziggler is next. Uh, Rude slow wrestles Tucker Knight. He's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna take my time, dissect him like I should. Otis is still down. For the most part, this was actually really a two-on-one match. I'll tell you what, Otis got the most from this match because people were cheering for him. Adolph, you know, that's that's standing drop kick. I might not like Dolph Ziggler that much. He might be a little too showy, a little too flashy, a little, a little like like oversell. He's very athletic, though. It's hard to do a standing drop kick, especially when you know he's coming for like a guy's head and he can actually reach that. That's impressive. I know the wrestling ring has some bounce to it, but yeah, not like that. Then Root again slows down the pace, very deliberate. Otis is still down. And then eventually, oh, Root hits that neck breaker. That should just be a finishing move. Eventually, Otis. He sits up. He starts starts to do his little wiggle. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it! So Otis gets a hot tag. He blasts off Ziggler overhead, belly to belly. However, uh, Rude gets in and then makes a blind tag to Ziggler, which, which Otis did not see. And it's sweet chin music on poor Otis. I'll tell you what, because this pulled up my heart, because it was Dolph Ziggler that actually did speech and music, like rubbing salt in the wound. He takes his woman. He's the last man standing in a gauntlet match. He actually hits Otis blindly. I feel for Otis. That was a surf and turf match. And overall, the whole gauntlet match was a surf and turf match overall. It was only the one weird thing with the Usos. Everything else was really fun and amazing. So now, that was a whole, the whole thing again was a surf and turf match. Now let's take a little break. And it's time for some predictions. So let's kind of let me cue stuff up. I'll be back in one moment, folks. And now it's time. It's time. The only time that matters. It's time to hit my music. And of course you hear the music, that means it's, it's, it's one time and time for one, and time for one thing only. Time for some predictions, as the most esteemed Dr. Tom would say. So we have the Elimination Chamber. This is weird. I waited a while to do this. Because by my count, there were only one, two, three, four, five, six matches. So that's not a lot to do a lot on. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I'll mention that later though. That's okay. I have to figure out, if anyone know, knows how to be like YouTube friends, like let me know. Someone asked me to be a YouTube friend. I'm like, sure. Whatever. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out. If not, you can always let, shoot me in the comments how to do, do stuff like that. But so for Elimination Chamber, again, we have the six matches. And remember, I also assigned my match of the night, the snooze match. And my stone cold lock. Let's see. Let's start off with I have no clue what's going to happen. Alistair Black versus AJ Styles. 
Hmm. No. Okay. So Alistair Black's gonna win. Alistair Black's gonna go over AJ. Something screwy will happen, and this will lead to AJ jumping Alistair Black next week and getting ready for some kind of program for WrestleMania. So I'll say Alistair Black wins that match. Then we will have the Street Profits taking on Seth Rollins and M Murphy. I think, again, they're going to prolong this a little bit. Uh, that tag team belt was just so the Street Profits could still challenge for the belt. Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy is going. Yeah, I'll say Seth. I'll say I'll say Seth. Seth and Murphy win. Then we have Andrade in Almas taking on Umberto Crillo. This is gonna be my match of the night. Match of the night. Andrade is going to win. This is going to lead to something. Uh, maybe a match for WrestleMania? U.S. title? Alberto? Angel Garza? Rey Mysterio? And Andrade? Ooh, I'd pay to see that. Well, no, but you know what I'm saying. Then I'll tell you what, this is going to be a snooze match. You have Braun taking on in a three person handicap match. So it's Braun taking on Shinsuke Nakamura, Sami Zayn, and, and Cesaro. I think Shinsuke, Sami Zayn, and Cesaro are going to defeat Braun. They're going to somewhat free bird the IC belt to a degree, but Sami Zayn. Is going to shenanigan himself to keeping that belt somehow. So it's like, yeah, we're all three champions, but I'll, it's going to be one of those things we're champions. I'll hold on to the belt. They're like saying, yeah, we're partners. I'll hold on to the money. That's just, I'm going to take a snooze during that match. And we'll have the Elimination Chamber matches. Again, it just seems like more sense to have those two together. That way you don't have to spend like forever raising and lowering the cage. Uh, tag Team Elimination Chamber. I have the Usos going over. It should be really fun. And then in the Women's Elimination Chamber, which is my stone cold lock. I have Shayna Baszler winning, and therefore she can challenge Becky Lynn at WrestleMania. And those are my predictions. Just to recap, Shayna's winning, Usos are winning, Shinsuke Nakamura, Sami Zayn, Cesaro win, Andrade wins, Alistair Black wins, uh, Seth Rollins and Murphy win, and that's it. Wow, this is going to be a short pay-per-view. This is going to be weird. I know Elimination Chamber matches take long, but still. And I have no idea what's going to be on the pre-show. So, I say there will be some... The bonus! There will be some seventh rent, like random... Pre show match. Random match. So we'll see how I do Sunday. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I have a month left on my suspension. Well, actually, less than a month. Yes. Yes. Uh, some news and notes for next week. Again, Sunday, it's going to be. I'll be watching Elimination Chamber. You'll get my reactions later that night. Monday is going to be raw. Tuesday I have to work again. So, and then Wednesday I have to work. 
So Wednesday, it's going to be a double show. It's going to be both NWA and only AEW. Uh, Thursday, off. Yay. Friday's going to be SmackDown. And then Saturday, you can see this guy, the one, the only, Hobo Tom. Here in Daytona Beach at the Multicultural Center. I'll be there for NXT Live. I do plan to attend, and hopefully I'll see you there. All right, you say, I know you, you're Hobo Tom. You'll get your free complimentary shout-out, which will be on YouTube, so all your friends can say, yep, I'm on YouTube too. Again, with all that, I'd like to thank everyone. Have a good night. Bye.